real quick. My name is Sam, Columbia College, class of 2018. Kate, C's 2018. Natalie, 2016, C's. We are the elections board. Uh, we're going to be recording this. It's Columbia's equipment, so it's like really expensive, high-tech stuff. So everything is heard. If you say anything in the audience, it will be heard. So just keep trying to make it. Um, so with that said, can we have the presidential and VP candidates come up? Uh, introduce yourselves to the party. And uh, in one minute, explain how you would make Columbia. <laughs> so we have President Kanata and me. And uh, you know, if you speak, try and make sure the camera can see you. We can just start on the far right and we'll go this way. Okay, so hi, I'm Sahel, part of the, the Brown Party. And our platform mainly involves around the stress free, stress free campus. Um, we realize that one thing common that almost all Columbia students have is stress. So our main idea is trying to reduce stress. Uh, two main ways we want to tackle that is socially and academically. Academically, we know that people, uh, especially in CC, they have to make um, core classes and they work their classes around that. So we were trying to have in the summer, you can put in your classes uh, alongside the core environment so you can put them in together and try and get better times for all of that. And socially, we want to work on trying to get mixtures between different dorms, and also having a voluntary exchange program between different dorms for one night, possibly switching around, and you can get to meet new people, because I know that different dorms have different personalities, and usually throughout the year, you don't really experience other dorms as much, because you try and focus on your floor and your dorm, so you want to get a lot of mixing between those. Hi. Right, thank you. Hi, I'm Mina. I'm running with the party Fresh Start. We are focused on community building and helping the class of 2019 so we have a lot of events planned, such as Coffee and Carmen, in which we will bring in local coffee shops during finals week, so that all of our freshmen can have free coffee and a way to relax during uh, finals week. And also we're going to have ping pong tournaments, just to get some fun activities in there. And also some new dating mixers throughout the year, where you can just keep meeting new people and keep making the, um, new connections. Also, we want to have um, healthier snacks in day days place, because Freshman 15 is real, and we, <laughs> and we want to just make sure that everyone, that we can cater to everyone's needs, the athletes, you know, they don't want to always be all the time, uh, other people as well. Um, and also, we would like to uh, make sure that we can fund all freshman-led initiatives or groups so that we want to empower our class, know that whatever they want to do, our group can handle that, and we can fund you and support you. I'm Spencer. Uh, I'm running for president of the We Go Ham Open Party. Um, and what we want to do, essentially, we want to make Columbia more accessible to everyone, whether that's socially, academically, with your representatives themselves. So first off, our biggest issue that we want to tackle are subsidized metro cards. A round trip ticket in the city is going to cost you $5.50. And with that, that can pr be pretty cost prohibitive for a lot, a lot of our students. Um, so Columbia has the funds and we have the means to do this. We did this with the arts initiative already, and we can expand this to more things, the city unrestricted. Um, second, we want to make your reps accessible. So rep open hours so that you can talk to us about certain issues that involve you, that you want your voice to be heard. And lastly, we want to make all of you accessible to each other, and we're doing that through our events, through our study breaks, and through all of these things that we really want to cater to you. I'm Yerb, uh, and I'm for the surprise party. And our common thread uh, through all of our uh, platforms is feasibility. We want to improve student government, and we there's a reason why people don't exactly trust the options we're running for, and that's because sometimes we make grandiose promises and they're not fulfilled. But we know that our promises are very much feasible. So we want to have a master calendar that will organize all sorts of Columbia events and that is exportable to iCal or other things like that, so that, again, these sorts of events are very accessible instead of just having a flood of events on Facebook or other platforms. We want to have something called Taste of Columbia, which is where we bring food trucks onto College Walk, and that has been done in various high schools around the city already. So that would uh, provide a lot more diversity in food options and would provide a taste in New York City without actually leaving the campus. Uh, other initiatives include going to actual residence halls, sitting down and having open forums between residents and uh, talking to them about issues 
especially relating sensitive issues that might even relate to things like sexual assault or uh, sexual assault or class confessions. That stuff needs to also be addressed within our community. And we have more lighthearted um, initiatives as well, including raffles and also uh, subsidized trips in New York City. And we do that by communicating with businesses to make sure we get Columbia discounts all over the city in the future. We improve quality of life. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Josh Hank. I'm running with the party of Pan 7292. Uh, we have a few things that we hope to bring to Columbia this fall. One of the first things is expanding the Columbia University ID card. What that means is reaching out to different vendors and restaurants and locations in the city um, and developing a partnership where we both offer something. We offer them a smart, uh, sponsorship, so we have events to promote them, but in exchange, they would give us discounts um, and that would increase their business because more students would be likely to come. That's something that did in high school that was very successful, so we hope to do that. Another thing is sustainability initiatives. We want to work with the eco reps, and we're ready to have a dialogue with them about some things for the dining hall. Another thing is, um, as all the groups have mentioned, is the importance of student collaboration and input. On our website, we have a link so that people can submit ideas. We've already received quite a few uh, requests. I'll just mention a few. One of them, as you can imagine, is the package center. I'm improving the package center, so that's one thing that we're definitely going to work on. Another thing is uh, redefining the dining hall policy. A lot of people like the idea of um, allowing to move from one dining hall to another within an hour of swiping in. So, for example, if you want to get pasta uh, in Ferris and then go to get a drama juice in uh, John Jay, since it's really all you can eat, that would make sense. So that's one thing we want to do. And uh, lastly, we have a bunch of spirit and community events that we'd like to implement. Uh, we already have a few plans going into the city, dinners and stuff like that. So if you're elected, we definitely can guarantee that we'll do our best to implement all these different Party that is in no way affiliated with the actual Tea Party. We stand for transparency, empowerment, and accountability. And actually, every single initiative and actually anything we plan to do and we hope to do revolves around those three ideals. So I'll start with transparency. We hope to uh, bring everybody in Columbia, whoever wants to come, to local bubble tea events every single month uh, where we can you know, address your concerns. I think the biggest issue with student government is that we don't listen to the actual student concerns. We're too busy trying to like assume what students want and then just try to get that to them. Instead, we want to bring them and ask them, like, what are your biggest concerns? Is it the Harvard Pack Center? Is it uh, John Jay Dining Hall? What are your concerns? And then you get that chance to, to tell us, and we bring it to the administration for you. Um, secondly, empowerment. I guess in that same vein, we're trying to empower students to, you know, uh, tell us about their concerns. Some of the initiatives that we've already thought of already from talking to students has been uh, the dining hall. We waste a lot of food in the dining hall. We're looking to partner with food pantries around Columbia and around New York City. Hi, I'm Justin Whitehouse and I'm also running with the surprise party. I really like your introduction of our platform earlier, and I think the other big point of our platform is community. We don't want us on student council to apply to us. We want it to be a dialogue with every single person at Columbia. That's why we went at forums at all of the you know, residents hall, so we can talk to people, have them say, we want this to happen, we have this great idea, and then we can implement that better. And we also want to like allocate our funds to their ideas too. Also, for like the taste of Columbia and stuff like that, we want to bring this thing that like to make everybody happier in the community because like Columbia can be extremely stressful at times. And like as you said, we can't get into New York some weekends. But if we have a few trucks come here, we feel like, oh we're in the city, yeah, we're on campus. And then uh, I think that covers it. You're a really good introduction really <laughs>
transparency in the administration, making sure that um, students' concerns are actually heard by the council. It's your CCSC. We're here to represent you guys. Thank you. Um, we are representing, as he said, transparency, empowerment, and accountability, which are three things that maybe the actual tea party doesn't do so well. But um, these three things really encompass all of the plans and ideas that we have for Columbia. So as Akil said, we want to address problems in the package center, we want to address problems with um, the dining halls, and of course we want to partner with local pantries so that we can make not only Columbia a better place, but even New York City. And so I think something that sets us apart from everything else is that we are really looking to Columbia student body together so that we can help act as a liaison between the Columbia student body and the Columbia faculty. This is something that's very important to us because we want to make sure Columbia is a community. We want to make sure that we coordinate the faculty in all of our plans. We have a lot more specific ideas that we'd love to address, but I'm going to keep this short since we don't have that much time. Thank you. Uh, hi, my name is Ricardo Maravilla. Uh, I'm running with Mina as part of the Fresh Heart Party. Uh, Mina talked specifically about a lot of the policies that we want to do, uh, but I'd also like to talk about the themes that we want to represent. So our motto is empowering the 2019 family, which has two main parts. First is the empowerment part, which I think is best exemplified by our big policy that we will guarantee funding for any and all freshman initiatives that want to happen at Columbia. We know that independently of things that we want to do when we're on student council, there are things that Columbia students want to do, and we want to be able to reassure people and know people that they can always come to us uh, for support of their own initiatives, and we want to be a platform at which they can go to. The second part is our family, because if so far as we are a community, we think that we are even more, that we are uh, a family, and I think that uh, Mina talked about a lot of the specific things we want to do to build community, uh, to build consensus amongst uh, the class of 2019, which includes our uh, speed dating mixers um, and our coffee and Carmen events that we're really excited about and we're really motivated to follow through on. Thank you. actually known as a Dean Teeny, mentioned Pantone 292, otherwise known as Columbia Blue. And he talked about how Columbia Blue unites us all because we all go to the school and we want to have more school spirit. So really the most important thing for us is representing the student voice. Um, for example, I know last year CCSC saw in Columbia Confessions that a lot of kids were hungry at Columbia, which we didn't know about. A lot of kids couldn't afford to have the meal plan and were hungry and um, couldn't swipe into John Jalen. So they created this app where you could give meals to other kids. And so by looking at what students needed, they were able to fix a major issue. So that's really what we want to do. We want to look at the student voice, look at what problems there are, and fix them. Um, so that's our main goal. Thank you.
I knew the media perspective very well. I knew how to communicate with the government, I knew how to cover their platforms, and I knew what they were doing and what they were not doing. I covered all the minutes, and I report on that. I know how Senate works, and I know how to communicate with the media. And as um, if, if elected president, right, I am able, I will be able to communicate effectively to the spectator and other delegations, and let them know how exactly the Senate works, and how exactly the council works, and how we are pushing our platforms forward. I was also president of my model UN team. I was able to lead people and train them and take them to different uh, conferences around the country. So in that way, I also have leadership experience in leading a group of people towards one common goal. So I think that's a really important part. A lot of 
but the important part of career fairs is reaching out to people in the community uh, who have certain careers, for example, lawyers at different firms, or doctors. So reaching out to those, a lot of that um, isn't really accessible to us students, so working with faculty and administration uh, is something that would make something like that much more feasible, and communicating with all the different uh, people who have control over those types of things. Great, thank you. Okay, my next question is for the VP Justin um, from this prize party. Um, how would your party work on creating connections between um, your year, because of the and um, other years? Great. So, as I said earlier, we want to make this uh, our run as student council where we've got a lot between not only our group, but we also want to reach the upperclassmen. I know many of us have friends who are upperclassmen, but also I know some of the dorms have upperclassmen living in them, and each dorm has a dorm council, and then we can communicate with those dorm council. We can talk about taking plan events and issue, and why like some dorms may seem cut off from others is that the dorm councils can sometimes just make events for their dorm only, and that can cut them off. But if we reach out to those dorm councils and the people living in those dorms, we can create these events. Also, I know like many upperclassmen are definitely open to communicating, and there will be upperclassmen on the student council, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and even all student council, as well as the C student council. So we can definitely communicate with them. We'll be working with them, in fact. We don't want to just change our grade. We want to change the entire school. Uh, Ricardo, do you want to jump in on that and say anything you have? Yeah, I think that's an important part about how <laughs> the student council, you know, CCC is much more than just like the 319 reps. We have uh, the other, you know, the other grades also have their own boards, and I think an important part of uh, connecting the different grades would be, you know, play, you know working with the representatives and other grades to make it happen. Um, additionally, I think that you know we can also reach to uh, other student life groups on campus that are, uh, you know, that are they're predominantly upperclassmen in those leadership positions. But like those large events are something that we can help publicize um, as a more indirect means of uh, promoting contact. So our platform is very global, so one of, the, one of the concrete ideas, we wanted to create a Skype-type pen, pen pal initiative where, let's say you're interested in France, French culture, French people, French language. We've set you up with uh, a pen pal via Skype um, in another school in France, um, and you get to communicate with them and ask them questions. Another one we wanted to do is actually, well, I'll touch more about that, that food pen right now. Lots of food is wasted, yes, lots of people, uh, there are meal swipes, and they're, the upperclassmen especially can't. Uh, swipe in because they don't have enough swipes. And a lot of food is also wasted in John Jay and Ferris and JJ's place. So how can we make New York City great again as well? Just like Columbia, we want to make great again. You know, a big part of Columbia is New York. The name is Columbia University and City of New York. So if we want to make Columbia great, we want to make New York great at that same time. And then the third idea is actually a dance marathon fundraiser. You can see that on our platform on Facebook as well. Um, the dance marathon fundraiser, we want you to tell us like what you're most passionate about. If you're most passionate about uh, uh, men, women, and women. Yeah, Uh, open hours and talk with their representatives. 
in addition, though, we have to realize that the role of council goes just beyond the council members. So we can appoint members, uh, we can have appointed members to council. And so people who really are passionate about the community and want to make the community great can reach out to us and we're really looking to appoint them because we can't do this all by ourselves. We have to get a few as a class. So in addition to the open hours, we have to bring people from the outside into council.
yeah, I'd just like to once again reiterate our theme that we're about empowering the 2019 family. Uh, we care deeply about uh, making sure that we can improve student life at Columbia. I think, you know, we have a lot of great ideas, uh, but we think insofar as we want to bring uh, Columbia together, we also want to make uh, Columbia do better. Uh, and I think we are, moreover, not only just qualified, I also think we're incredibly passionate about the things we want to do. We want to give Columbia exactly what our name is, uh, a fresh start. are focused on global, international topics. We have international students represented on our party, but also we have a lot of goals, not just to make Columbia great again, not just to make New York great again, but to make the world great again. I mean, I don't think that's too often of a goal, right? I think that we want to do a lot of charity events by uniting the Columbia community, and I think that's the way we can tie it all in together. So I think the Tea Party is very good at representing international but 
Ground Party also is a very unique experience across all of us. And as well as something that's different is even though we don't have any major changes on our platform, we're going to have a huge difference in student life through the different various um, issues that we have on our platform. All right, well, thank you guys very much. Um, yeah, I think you guys are done. So um, uh, you guys can sit down. <laughs>